sit. Good boy. Good boy. Lay down. Good boy, Tone. Stay. Look, you're looking over there at them other dogs. <laughs> What's up with the fam? It's your boy ASAP Thriller here. Back at it again with another video. Me and my dog out here today, this morning. Uh, enjoying the scenery, right? Enjoying the beautiful scenery out here at this park. But today, it's gonna be a pretty big day, fam. Like, I'll be making the first major step into starting that retail business that I was telling you guys about. If you guys had the time to watch that last video that I did where I was doing a little bit of dog training, but towards the end of that video, I went into detail about how I was going to create a whole retail business from the ground up, right? From the ground up. Like, literally, fam, I'll be starting this business by buying a whole bunch of merchandise in bulk. Pallets, I think like, what, 26? I want to say anywhere between 26 to 50 pallets. I don't know yet. And uh, I'll be selling out of storage units. Uh, and I'll be doing it on my spare time because, yes, fam, yes, I currently work. I currently have a business already. Right, I already have a business, so it's gonna be something that I'll have to just kind of work around. Luckily, I got a wife whose boots on the ground, she's always involved. You know, we, we sharing the same visions, right? So, you know, she's she gonna play a pivotal part, a pivotal role in making this dream come true. Uh, so, what I'm about to do is I'm about to walk him, I'm about to do some tricks with him. Uh, Y'all gonna see uh, just a little bit of the training and everything that I normally do with my dog, right? All these distractions, we got ducks, we got, we got geese, you know, we got squirrels running around, but my goal today is to practice obedience with him, right? Like I always do. So I want him to be locked in and keyed in with me. So I'm gonna do a little bit of training with him. And then right after that, I'm gonna get straight into the video where I'm showing y'all, uh, you know, me going to go pick up the merchandise, right? And one of my good friends, Jaron Jones, he's actually gonna be the person that's gonna be uh, uh, using one of his uh, 26 footer, uh, uh, box trucks to come and help me pick up some of this merchandise, right? So, y'all, today is going down. But let me get straight to it. Let me let me get my dog to work because he already energetic. He already ready to go. Look, look, he ready to move. He ready to do something. So, uh, hopefully, y'all find this video entertaining and educational. But stay tuned. As y'all can see, there's other dogs over there off leash. Hey, sit. My dog is off leash too. Stay. All right, so I want y'all to see. How much attention? Stay. But he has my full undivided attention. Right now, he's distracted. But he gonna stay over here with me. Cause I'm gonna tell him to. Y'all see, I'm not worried. I work with my dog. I work with him. Undivided attention. Even though we got all these distractions over here. But again, this is the type of training that he needs. Two. Come on, boy. Good boy. Hey, hey. Sit. Up. Good boy. Up. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Lay down. Good boy, Tom. Stay. Look. Looking over there at the other dogs. <laughs> like fam, y'all know how hard it is. How, how difficult it is for your dog to stay, uh, I guess, obedient when he's distracted by other dogs, let alone other animals. I mean, I see some, some people dogs distracted just by other people, right? Dogs disobedient, not listening. Fam, the simplest solution to that, fam, to get the dog to listen and to be obedient is to just spend time with them. To, to, to find certain commands, certain things that you want your dog to do 
and you just drill on it consistently, right? Now, I hadn't tried this. I'm going to try him to give him the up command from way over there because I don't know if he's going to get confused as far as, like, uh, understanding what I'm saying. But let's see. Two. Up. Two. Up. All right. He couldn't hear me, y'all. Uh, so that's something I'm going to have to work on, but he couldn't hear me that far away. Good boy. Good boy, Wade. Good boy. All right, now this is like one of his favorite games. It's almost like a puzzle, right? So what I'll do is I'll take a tree. It's like a treasure hunt. I'll take a treat. Watch this. Go. 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 Get it. Well, basically, I'll take a treat <coughs> and I'll throw it out there. And uh, I'll force him to, to use his nose to try to find it, right? But I, I'm going to be honest, that time... Uh, since I'm holding the camera, I wasn't able to chuck it that far. <whistles> Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Go. Go. Get it. See? <laughs> Y'all, like, ain't even throw it that far. Because I'm holding the phone and I'm... <laughs> my, my, my throwing skills are a little trash. But I'm a, pretty, I'm a pretty decent quarterback now. Don't judge me. I'm a pretty decent quarterback. Watch this. <whistles> Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Go. Go. I'm gonna throw that one far. So that was ah, it was far, but then I got got it caught up in the branches a little bit. But that's good though, because it forces him to use his nose. And what I like to do is I really love to play this game with him uh, in like heavily wooded and heavily grassed areas. That way, it'll force him to have to find it. Ah, man, he loves that game because it's more. He's exercising, yeah, but he's also forced to use his brain and to think. So it's like a puzzle for him. It's like. It's like a game, but that's enough for that, fam. Just wanted to give entertain y'all, entertain y'all with that, you know, with a little bit of dog training, just to show y'all, you know, uh, how rewarding it is when you actually take out the time to spend time with your dog, to get your dog trained. No professional training needed. Just spending time with them and staying firm, right? It's just like raising kids. Even though I hate to uh, relate dogs to human kids, but still. All right, now, so hopefully y'all enjoyed that training, and hopefully you guys stick around to see what I got coming for y'all. I got a treat, fam. I got a treat for y'all today. Uh, again, I'm starting my retail business from scratch, and my whole motivation and my whole goal of doing so is to show you guys how anybody can make it in America, right? I'm literally about to start this business from scratch, selling a whole bunch of goods uh, from out of storage units, right? Goods that anybody can buy. All you got to do is get a sales tax license, right? But again, I'll be showing you guys step by step everything that I had to do. Uh, and I kind of cut out, I'm going to be real, I cut out some of the boring parts because I know a lot of, that's the type of stuff that you do a lot of work, put a lot of work into your video and a lot of people won't watch. How to get a sales tax ID, you know what I'm saying? How to start an LLC, uh, all that type of stuff. It's the type of stuff that will bore people and put people to sleep. So I didn't do that. But if you guys are interested in that, you know what I'm saying, I will do a video on that. But I want you guys to follow this journey with me, fam. I want you guys to follow this journey with me. So uh, stay tuned, fam. I'm about to uh, call up my friend, Jaron Jones, and he is actually going to be the one that's going to help me to go get the stuff because he has his own box truck business, right? So yeah, y'all stay tuned, fam. It's about to go down. Hey. I'm doing this thing, that lift gate. He ain't playing. Uh, I don't know if they have room for them. All right. I don't need them. You don't need them. Unless you want them. Nah. <laughs> now I'm going to have plenty. I'm about to have 26. <laughs> yeah. See, that's what an entrepreneur would look like. You know what I'm saying? Y'all work, you don't eat, man. I love it. Hey, uh, hey, bro. Huh? Hey, can y'all keep these pallets right here? Can y'all take these pallets? Um, I'm gonna put them to the side for you. Are you gonna take them back with you? Uh, I mean, I don't use them. I, mean, I don't know if they do. I'll put them to the side for you. Okay, alright. Got that first pallet on that bad boy. That first pallet. Man, we got big wheels. We got diaper genies. 
Oh man, we got diaper genies and everything, bro. Got the baby breezer. Oh man. And like I said, starting from the bottom. I can't wait to see what this, uh, what we can turn this into, fam. I, I'm, I'm real excited to see what we can turn this business into. But it ain't gonna come without hard work, though. It's gonna require hard work. Rose. Man, you like doing your work, right? Huh? You like doing your work. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, I like it when shit, when everybody's doing their part. Man. Right, right, right. When they leave me doing all that. Oh, yeah. God, that's what's up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Car seats. Got the girl car seat. Got the boy car seats. All right, y'all, so it's a brand new day. Today is Thursday, and the day when I first started shooting footage of the process that we're going through as far as getting uh, our retail uh, store set up, right? Um, that day, uh, my camera actually ended up dying, right? And then my phone actually died too. So I wasn't able to uh, finish showing you guys the process of us uh, getting the pallets off of the truck and getting my storage loaded up, right? But look, long story short, we ended up getting even more merchandise than we thought we were gonna get. Like they showed us love, right? The, the, the wholesaler showed us love. So we ended up having less space in the stores than we thought that we was even gonna have. So that's not a bad thing, that's a good problem to have, right? So already, uh, it's already starting to look successful, right? Um, so the next day what we ended up doing was I ended up getting the storage somewhat a little bit more organized Getting rid of some of the packages that were damaged just as, as a result of being in the warehouse You know uh, being around people driving around with forklifts right dropping boxes and stuff like that So the the damaged products is what I actually uh, Had to get rid of so that was a whole nother day getting stuff a little bit more organized and cleaner uh, So I'm pulling up to the storage unit now, y'all. So just give me a second so I can uh just give me a second so I can uh put my code in. Alright y'all, so pulling up to the storage unit now. Right, pulling up to the storage unit now. And uh we actually got a couple of customers today. So <clears throat> again, so basically day two was me organizing things and getting things uh, to look a little bit better because we're gonna have people coming in and out of here, right? And I, and I feel good about this storage unit because it's, it's safe and secure um, and, and it's a smaller facility uh, and everything like that. So I, I feel real good about this uh, facility right here. Um, for us to be, you know, getting our feet wet and everything like that. But, um, so that was day two, me organizing everything. Day three was actually when my wife finally had time to come over here and uh, take a couple of pictures of some things uh, just so we can start getting rid of some of this stuff, right? And we didn't go through all of the pa pallets because it's just way too much stuff, right? We didn't go through all of the pallets and everything like that. What she started off doing was just taking pictures of the stuff that were that was not on the pallet, right? Things that were just in the way. And uh, she started posting up those pictures last night. And right now, I already got we already got like three or four customers coming. That's on their way right now. Uh, selling low ticket items. These aren't big sales that I'm having, but what I'm gonna do is use this as an opportunity to market, right? Um, and I just pulled up to the unit. So, you know, these people are getting like smaller things like baby wipes and uh, diaper genies and stuff like that. Um, but I'm gonna use this as an opportunity, like I said, to market so that people can see what we really have going on here, right? So that hopefully it can turn into some more sales a little bit later, right? So let me show, I'm, I'm excited to show y'all what I got behind these doors right here. As y'all can see, this unit is absolutely jam-packed, right? Jam-packed. We got so much stuff in here. Car seats, diaper genies, uh, we got toys, you know, we got pull-ups, big wheels, 
baby breezes, all kind of stuff, right? And the cool thing about it, fam, like I said earlier, is I'm not in the rush to sell this stuff, right? Because I didn't use credit cards, I didn't use debt. You know, the way I look at it, I'm looking at this as uh, somewhat of a residual income play, right? I invested a certain amount of money into it, and as long as I can make, I don't know, a thousand dollars a month or something like that until the stuff is somewhat gone, then mission accomplished, right? Uh, so that's that's the goal. That's one storage unit, right? Now let me show y'all the one right next to it. Now this is the one right next to it. Y'all, we got a bunch of stuff. We got walkers, car seats, uh, we got toys, right? Hot wheel sets, uh, all kind of stuff. Lego sets, right? Um, like yeah, fam, we gonna really do our thing, and this one is packed too, right? More baby breezers. We got bottle sterilizers, right? And we selling everything for the low. You know, the goal is to try to sell everything for cheaper than you can find it uh, on Walmart or on Walmart.com or on Amazon.com. That's the goal, right? All right, y'all. So basically, where this is where we at now. This is day three of actually putting in work, getting the storage units done, right? Here's my wife right here. She always wanted to be on my channel, so. <laughs> That's her. So basically, fam, we got a we got a little bit more work to do, right? So what we planned on doing was taking out all of the toys and stuff like that. Um, all of the toys, all of the things that you would probably associate with an older child, right? We moving that into a completely different storage unit. So we had to get a third storage unit just because we were running out of space, but we got a really good deal on it. So for all three storage units, we paying about five hundred dollars a month. So. And this storage unit right here is where we will have <coughs> all of our toys and stuff like that, right? So we got some pretty nice stuff, you know, power wheels and stuff like that. Thomas the Train. Uh, uh, we got we got Mercedes Benz cars and all kind of stuff, right? We got adult toys. We got big wheels. I know y'all remember that. <laughs> Electric scooters and all type of stuff. You working, Carter? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Give me five. Huh. Look, we got my baby girl over here working. You working, Parker? Parker. Now look, my baby girl is the manager, right? You the manager, right? So what goes over here? Uh, girls. Girls? What goes over here? Toys. Okay, and what goes back there? Big stuff? Uh-huh. Okay, so this is the manager. My sons, they are the workers for now. But next time we do this, then it's going to be Preston's turn to be the manager. And then they're going to have to work. So yeah, we're learning some life lessons and everything. But y'all, I just wanted to stay tuned. This is a whole nother day. Like I said, the videos is probably gonna be scattered, but hopefully uh, I can make like an enjoyable, educational video out of this, right? <clears throat> we starting from the ground level. We starting all the way from the bottom. We trying to build something. Woo! So we just got done moving all of the toys from out of those two storages and moving into the third unit that we just got. Uh, but it's still not that organized. We started, uh, having some issues because the baby started getting uh, impatient and so we had to move around the kids had to take a break because they, they was working hard was y'all working hard today mm -hmm. was it a, a lot of work or just medium work or just a little bit of work a lot it was a lot <laughs> but is working hard good though yeah but dad huh trust me like i was really sweating oh really i, was really sweating. I don't think I, people can hear you though i was really sweating oh, okay okay yeah so we was working hard uh teaching my kids early the value of hard work because there's too many people out here there's too many men out here that don't want to work for what they eat right i was always taught to if you want to eat you got to work you know what i'm saying so teaching them early how to work um but but more importantly i'm teaching them how to run a business right and when you're running a business especially from the ground floor from the ground level you got to get your hands dirty uh and again you know who knows we hoping that this business is, is successful we putting everything into making sure that it is but who knows right but it was worth taking a chance on it. But I'm pretty confident, you know, let me let me take that back. I'm pretty confident that it is gonna be successful because the business plan uh, is a good one. Everything, uh, all of the numbers make sense, right? But, um, but at the end of the day, we gotta kinda see how profitable it is for us uh, before we can decide whether or not we gonna continue to do it, right? All right, y'all, so just pulled up to PetSmart. I'm taking a little break right quick. Uh, about to take my dog to go get a new ball. So we can uh, start playing fetch again, you know. But yeah, I had to take me a little break from the store, uh, from the little storage unit, getting everything together. Come on, boy. Good boy. You put your leash on. I gotta put the leash on because you know we're going into a public place. So 
they usually require a leash on your dog, even though mine don't necessarily need one. Tom. Good boy. Right, come on. Wait. Uh, all right now when we inside the pet stores usually he gets excited um because you know all of the different smells and stuff for the dog food and then it's all kind of toys and a lot of times you know kids will be in here squeezing balls and stuff like that so uh yeah i, I use pet smart and different pet smores different pet stores uh, as a way to make sure that I can keep them trained because it's so many different distractions that uh, That's always like fighting for his attention, right? This is just an easy easy uh, Way to make sure that I'm always keeping him obedient by continuing to bring him into stores like this and Ensuring that he's always aware Just to you know just to keep him sharp you know what I'm saying? Keep him on his toes to always be uh, keeping the ear out for what his owner, what I want him to do, right? He don't get a choice in the say-so. <laughs> when he with me, he should always be paying attention to me. How you doing, man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah he, uh, he, he's still a puppy, man. Oh, dude. Yeah, he a uh, boy. Hey, big boy. Uh -huh. Hey, yeah. big boy. Yeah. Big old boy. Yeah, y'all see how friendly he is. Yeah. But he got a he got an on and off switch though. I teach him his uh his protection training is in German. Oh, okay. So that way most people can't control him. Okay. You know? Yeah, I'm not gonna speak any German while you. And now, oh, you speak German? <laughs> nah. Oh, okay. Just, just the house, and, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, boy. Man, that's what we're Man, appreciate it, man. Come on. All right, let's get him a toy. I bet you even want to <laughs> he eat pretty good, man. But I feed him, uh, I feed him chicken, oh, okay. chicken, uh, raw, raw chicken, oh, okay. beef liver, beef kidney, uh, and then when I give him kibble, sometimes I put tuna in, it yeah, in water, like no oil or nothing like that. Yeah. That'll mess up their stomach. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, Ooh, that meat, that meat, man, no, and and it's cheaper too, man. I go to the farm. Yeah, get it fresh, get it, get it fresh. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. People are uh people are hey you scared thinking they did give them a taste for blood. Yeah. But I've been raising dogs, man. Like I, nah, it, it ain't true, man. It's all about the time you spend with them. <laughs> yeah, it's all about the time you spend yeah. with them though, man. Yeah. Like uh with the blood thing, if you teaching your dog to go hunt, then you teaching them yeah. about the prey, you know. But yeah. when you just feeding them, it's just it's just food. Yeah. But uh, but uh, but he does hunt too though. Just everything but people, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you see how friendly he just walked up to you and yeah. Let me pet him on the Yep. Yep. Oh boy. Come on, boy. Hey. Sit. Good boy. Good boy, Tom. Wait. He's a really big dog. Uh, thank you. He's it? still a, he's still a puppy. Is that a king corsair? Yeah, he's a corsair. Uh huh. I, I gotta get him a. I gotta get another one though, cause he oh, wants. You have to? He just wants to play. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, nah, he good. He good. <laughs> Two. Oh. Hey. Come here, boy. Sit. Stay. He's good beautiful. Boy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. He's a. Uh, it's a lot of work though. I've been training him since he was like six weeks. Oh, no. Two. Stay. Where'd you train him? I, I do it myself. Okay, so yeah. Protection, protection training. Not not for other people. I, oh, okay. I don't have the time, you know. Okay. But uh but yeah, I just I just take joy in doing it. Yeah. But I was thinking about either getting another corso uh -huh. or or a Belgian. Have you ever heard of Belgian Malinois? Mm -hmm. The police dogs. Oh, yeah. I, I love those. I have hey, stay. I absolutely love them. Yeah, they're really gorgeous. Yeah, and then Yeah, yeah, they are too. I just think they'll be a good fit. Yeah. Um, 
the Belgians are a lot more high energy. Yeah. He's a working dog, but he's not like, he, you know, Belgian will be running around the backyard right. all day. He'll, he's perfectly fine with sitting there until you tell him what to do. Oh. You know, so, yeah. Yeah, he's a really good dog. All right, y'all, so <clears throat> this is day, I believe day five. Uh, I'm not sure, cause I, uh, it, a couple of days have passed since I uh, recorded the last video. But what, what I've been doing is uh, getting stuff organized. Right, I've been getting stuff organized and we've been putting prices on things, right? And then the other thing is because we've been ordering these pallets, right? A lot of, well, I wouldn't say a lot. About 10 to 15% of, of the stuff that we ordered is damaged or either missing something. So I've been having to break down the pallets uh, individually, uh, go through almost every package to make sure everything is actually in there, right? So it's a lot of work, fam. Like nobody said... Uh, that it was gonna be easy. I knew it wasn't gonna be easy, but in all reality, I didn't know it was gonna be this much work. You know, cause look, this is the thing. So the first thing we had to go and uh, actually get the pallets, right? So I had to find a truck to be able to pick up all of the pallets and deliver it to my storage unit, right? Then we had these manifests which list out everything that's supposed to be in the pallet, right? So with with us ordering these pallets, a lot of times, you know, in the warehouse, they'll put what you order in there and then on top of that they'll throw just extra stuff in there that they want to get out of the warehouse right so a lot of times the things that they just throw on top were damaged you know but sometimes these things have value uh because sometimes they're not always damaged they just might be dirty so you can literally take some of the stuff home uh, wash them and then you can sell them for just super duper cheap and that actually makes up for a lot of the damaged goods that you might find so again you know i don't even know if we gonna actually make money off this deal but we taking a chance we taking a risk this is something that i just feel like everybody could do and that's why i wanted to make a video about it y'all give me a second uh, and, and forgive me for the camera i'm opening up my second storage unit so you guys can kind of see what's in there let me put my phone down real quick all right so this one is actually organized but we had a couple of customers come by uh, random people that I didn't expect to be uh, coming to buy something and so we ended up having to move stuff around uh, and when I was still in the middle of organizing I was actually having a guy come pick up these pallets but he wasn't able to make it today so I just stuck it right here in the front but over here we got all of the swings uh, we got some uh, baby uh, bath tub type of things uh, more swings more swings this is just a random toy that's here these pillows we're probably going to take them home uh, and then, you know, stuff like this, right? Uh, this is actually a good seat. It's just, it's dirty, right? Um, and then we got a whole bunch of baby gates and stuff like that, right? Uh, we got potties. We got car seats over here. Booster seats, right? A lot of this stuff is real good quality. Um, but, again, you know, some things are damaged. And that's what I've been having to do is actually go through and take out all of the damaged stuff, right? Because I don't want to sell nobody anything that's missing pieces or, or, or damaged, right? And then we got uh, the, the bottle sterilizers over there. We got baby cribs over there, right? So it's a lot of work, fam. And, again, you know, if this works and if we, we able to turn 15000 into 25000 then we'll do it again. But if we turn 15000 into 15000 after all this work, minus our expenses, uh, minus our additional expenses, then we ain't going to do it again. But it's still worth a shot, right? My whole goal is to prove to you guys that you can make it in America um, by just hustling, you know, doing what you got to do. There's opportunities everywhere. You just got to find them, right? And even with this, right, even if this turns out to not be successful, if we break even, then, you know, since this was the very first time we've actually ordered a pallet, what I plan on doing is if we can sell this stuff quick, I'm going to go and I'm going to have a discussion with the with, with the uh, supplier. I'm going to be like, hey, you know, y'all gave us too many broken things. Y'all gave us too many things that was missing pieces. You know, like, if y'all want our money, y'all going to have to show us more love next time, right? Like, y'all can't be giving us all of the crap that y'all main customers, you know, uh, didn't want. And that's how you build a relationship, right? I, I can't expect to get the, the highest quality stuff and the best deals if... You know, uh, if you know, they don't even know if we're gonna come back. They don't even know if we're that serious, right? So again, fam, we we gonna do this thing, and if we at least break even, we might consider doing it again. But if we lose money, most likely we won't, because my time is more valuable than anything, any of this, right? I'm, I'm, like my main business makes way more money than I expect to make from this. This is just 
something that could potentially turn into something, but it may not. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not tripping either way. I ain't gonna lie. I don't like losing money, so I don't want to lose no money, right? That's not the goal. The goal is to actually make some money, right? <sighs> but again, fam, I'm about to end this video here. I'm probably gonna drop this video. I'm gonna put together this compilation, drop this video, and then if y'all interested, I'll make some more videos, keep y'all updated on how the process is going, man. But so far, you know, uh, so far so good, right? We hadn't really started really promoting that heavily just yet. Uh, we, we, we put a couple of ads, not an ads, but we posted a couple of things on Facebook Marketplace. And so far, we've had about six sales, but we hadn't been pushing out heavy because we don't even have prices on everything yet, right? But once we get prices on everything, once we get all of the damaged goods out of here, and we can separate the things that are good from the things that aren't good, then we're going to start going heavy, pushing this stuff real heavy. I might even uh, push a couple of ads on Facebook, right? We're going to print our flyers, take them to different spots, right? Uh, daycares and stuff like that. So, yeah, fam, we got a whole plan. We got a whole plan. We're going we gonna to make some money. That's the goal. But thank y'all for watching, fam. If y'all interested in more content uh, about the success or the failure of this business, comment, fam. Share this. Like, help me out. Help me out. It's not easy uh, making, you know, continue to make content if people are not interested in it, right? I need, to, I'm still trying to figure out what people want to see because I feel like I got a lot to offer y'all. So thank y'all for watching. That's all I got to say. Holla at your boy. Let my dog come sniff around. Come on, boy. Let's sniff around, you know, make sure ain't no bad actors in here. You know what I'm saying? Doing my little safety checkup real quick. So this is all the stuff. Good boy. You ain't smell nothing. You ain't see nothing. Ain't no bad guys in there. But look, he checking. He walking around checking it out. What you see, boy? What you smell? You smell something? You smell something, boy? You smell something, boy? You smell something? Yeah. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Let me get that stuff off your face. Good boy. Come on, boy. You see the pallets? You see the pallets? I'm about to make some money, boy. Okay. Now let's see how you get up out of here because he don't like tight spaces. Uh, look, look. Backpedaling on up out of here. He don't like tight spaces. <laughs>